Mrs. Bunny was catching up with her good friend, Mrs. Bones. They were just hanging out. They talked about fashion. Oh my goodness. They talked about sports. I guess Mrs. Bones is a swimmer. And they talked about their good friend, Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones sure is flexible. Ellen came by to say hi. It was so good to see Mrs. Bones and Mrs. Bunny too. Mrs. Bones wanted to talk about what she loves best, the skeletal system. The skeletal system refers to all the bones that make up the body. And Mrs. Bones is an expert. She showed us her cranium, her skull, it protects the brain, her collarbones, they connect the rib cage and the shoulders. She told us about the ribs, the rib cage, we all have one. It's kind of ticklish sometimes. It protects the lungs, the forearms, this part of the arm right here. Mrs. Bones told us about the hips, hands to your hips, and about the shins, a very bony part of your body, and finally the ankles, so important for moving around through life. Well that was fun. Thanks again for telling us about the skeletal system, Mrs. Bones. I gotta go. See you soon. Bye Mrs. Bunny. And now, here's how you can be aware of your skeletal system when you practice yoga. You can lift the collarbones. You can feel the movement of your ribs as you breathe in and out. You can appreciate the strength of the forearms in forearm plank. Ah. <laughs> and also in forearm downward dog. You can stretch out and bring your skull, your cranium to the earth in child's pose. Still feel your rib cage moving with your breath. Relax your head. When you come up, you'll be sitting on your shins. And you'll be giving your ankles a good stretch also. You can stretch your ankles a little more in lots of different ways. Here I'm doing it in boat pose. Circle your feet, point and flex. This is so good for your ankles. Whee! <laughs> Coming up to standing, lift the collarbones. Plant your feet. And then if you come up and off of the heels onto tippy toes, you'll be stretching and strengthening both your feet and your ankles. I'm going to lift one leg and stretch my ankle a little more. Ooh, kind of tippy there. Now bring your hand to your ankle and you're a dancer. We should do everything to both sides. So lift your leg, stretch your ankle joint. Take hold of your ankle with your hand for dancer. Both feet to the floor. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel the rib cage moving with your breath. Circling the hips. Now this looks kind of funny, but it's really good for giving the hips a stretch. Don't forget to circle both ways. to side. This is monkey stretch. And guess what? Yes, I'm stretching my rib cage. There are muscles between each of the rib bones. They're called the intercostal muscles and the monkey stretch gives them a good little workout. Breathing in, touch your shins, 
relax your head. Come on up, relax your shoulders. Now we're gonna stretch and strengthen the feet and ankles a little more in a high lunge. Your feet are really working here to keep you steady. And then I'm gonna take a side stretch and guess what, uh-huh, yeah, we're stretching the rib cage again. <laughs> Let's do everything to both sides. High lunge, ooh, look at my feet, they're really working here. They need to be strong and flexible for these positions. Now my back will be to you, but it's the same thing as before, a side stretch to stretch and open the rib cage, reach your arm overhead, and come back to standing, take a big breath in. Ah, feels great. Okay, last thing. Appreciate your cranium, your skull. It protects your brain. Thanks for joining me, everyone. See you again soon. Meanwhile, Mrs. Bunny and Mrs. Bones were still hanging out. Mrs. Bunny had brought some snacks. Mrs. Bones said she wasn't very hungry, but she was happy to hang out for a while anyway. Have a great day, everyone.